The future as we know it has evolved and it keeps evolving daily. My name is Judah Yao and welcome to the Chat GPT training. Basically, in this training, we'll be handling two different parts. Introduction to Chat GPT, which involves your registration. Okay, let's now assume you are a chef. As a chef, you can easily use Chat GPT to learn how to prepare new meals, meals that you've never prepared before. All you just need to do is ask for some pres from ideas on, okay, what, what meals do they prepare in China? Ha, huh. it gives you, these are the meals. Then ask him, okay, what are the recipes? What are the ingredients that are needed for this meal? It gives you what uh, bucket list that with this, you can go to the market to purchase whatever it is, it is you need to purchase. Then you ask ChatGPT also, how do I prepare this very meal? It will give you all these explanations on how to be about it. The many, number of minutes you need to cook this for, the number, the quantity you need to add in this and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's something that's amazing, something that you can easily. So the essence of you watching this training video now is to know how to use this ChatGPT. So without wasting much of your time, let us dive into the training proper. So right here on my screen, To get on Charge GPT, all you just need to do is uh, you can just basically go on Google until you know the website. You can just basically go on Google. Now I just type chats chats.openai.com. Okay? Chats.openai.com or your browser. So it generates the interface for for Chat GPT for you. We are here. That's chat.openai.com. Now you have two options two things you need to do. First of all, you need to, you need to, if you do not have an account yet, you need to sign up. So sign up in just involves you uh, using your email address. So just click on sign up here. And then it asks us, uh, do you want to sign up using your email address, uh, your Google, whatever. If you have a Google account, you can just go ahead with Google. If not, you just enter your email address. I will know how all this works. Um, I already created an account, so I'm sure you'll be able to find your way. Yeah. So I'll just continue with Google. How about, how about Google? Um, I use Google to sign up here. It just proceeds. Since I should choose the account, I choose the account. So using signing up on the chat GPT, we are get, going to get and gain access to the free version of chat GPT. It has some limitations, but those limitations do not, will not really uh, affect what you are going to be experiencing. It will not really affect you right now. It's just basically maybe after a while we should tell you okay you have a number of queries or number of uh, prompts you can send per hour please wait for the next hour so for now you can use this and use it amazingly so this is the interface for chat gpt right now my strength this is the interface so you look at the, the capabilities of uh, chat gpt it remembers what you just said earlier in the conversation okay so let's assume you have asked ChatGPT to list five users ideas for you. And then it lists five. And then you can easily go, the next prompt can be explain number two. And it will automatically pick the number two it generated and then give you explanations on the yeah, You can further expand sheets on that. Ask different questions based on, on that number two. And when you are done with number two, you can tell it, okay, from number three above, explain this, explain this. He picks from there again. So that means it understands uh, the interaction, the earlier conversations he's, he's been having with you. Okay. So it's trained that way. It allows users to provide follow up, follow up corrections. They allow users to, fo to provide follow up corrections. Beautiful. Okay. So if, if, if ChatGPT gives you an response and then you feel this is not correct, you can easily tell ChatGPT that I'm not sure this is correct. You will see what it's, he will tell you. It's kind of, you know, so we will tell you that I'm sorry, this, 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 and that, but I think this, this is, and that. At the chat GPT interface right now, you'll see, uh, you'll see the capabilities. Now, it also allows users to provide follow-up corrections, okay? And then it is trained to decline inappropriate requests. Okay, what this means is actually that, just in case you get to ask the chat GPT some questions, which may negatively affect affect the, the human race or humans or whatever, chat GPT is trained to decline such requests. For example, I tried to write a book on how not to sleep. Okay. So I said, write me a book on how not to sleep. 
Okay, so let's see what he says to me. Alright, so automatically now he says, I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, it would be inappropriate and potentially helpful to write a book on how not to sleep. Sleep is an essential component of human part of life, and da 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 plenty. So he said, instead, I would like to provide you with some helpful tips to improve your sleep quality and quantity. Okay, so now he's telling me, establish it even went to the extent of telling me to go see my doctor just in case I'm not getting some uh, accurate number of uh, hours of sleep. Okay, so uh, the bot is trained to handle uh, to decline requests that are possibly uh, not very very okay for for humans. He just okay. Ha, what if he writes me something on how not to sleep, and I and I I I devour or I go through the contents, I ingest the content, and then I I go out there and drive and I get to hit somebody and stuff like that. So th this is basically what what is trying to avoid. Okay, so so uh, that brings us back to that uh, earlier beginning that says a capability. It's it's strange. It is strange to decline in about which request. Okay. So now the bot also has some limitations. Look at the limitations. Say it, it may occasionally generate incorrect information. That's why I said earlier on, chat GPT is not hundred percent foolproof. It's not may not be hundred percent accurate most times, but at least it is up to ninety five percent accurate. So even whenever you um, ask some questions and it gives you an answer, you can challenge the you can challenge your question again, and then it's best to like answer you like. When I thought this one was like this, but according to what I know, this is supposed to be this. You understand? So it has some limitations. It may occasionally generate incorrect information, and it, it may produce harmful instructions or biased content. And a limited knowledge of how, or lim limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. Okay, so it strains on what events up to 2021, but anything after 2021, 22, 23. Does it have it in its um, database? So look at an examples of things or questions you can ask the bot. Because basically, why you're watching this is to know how to use ChatGPT. What kind of questions? How you're going to frame your questions? How you're going to reframe? How you're going to you know when when you ask questions and you're not getting the right answer you think you should? How to rephrase and other things. So these are basically kind of examples of questions you can get to ask uh, ChatGPT to get. So it says, it says, explain quantum computing in simple terms, okay? Got any creative ideas for a 10-year-old birthday? Yeah, so, so you see how creative this can be. So, sometimes we are not most celebrating birthdays or something, and we want to get them gifts, and we do not know what is that. So we can easily, easily say, give me 10 tips on a gift I can Give my wife on her birthday. So he said, consider her interest. Think about what your wife enjoys doing in her free time and try. Personalize gifts, plan a surprise, take her shopping. See all those tips he's giving us. So these are kind of ideas. You can still find a way to streamline this um, question. You can tie it out to a particular uh, stuff. Okay, so give me 10 tips on how I'll just copy this out so that we will properly define this, we'll tie it down to a particular angle. So give me 10, 10 tips on on a tech tech gift I can give my wife. Okay, let's go that way. Smartwatch. Do you understand the idea now? So I, I had just asked it to give me 10 tips on tech gifts I can give my wife. So you see the question, the answer has changed now. So it's it's restricted. Its answers are just are basically around tech right now. Business tracker, smart thermostat, smartphone security, instance camera. So basically, like I said before, why you're watching this video is for you to know um, how this works. This is basically an introduction, an introduction to Chat GPT. So um, in the other lessons, the follow follow up lessons, which will be uploaded uh, every day, at least each day, we'll be uploading videos of each of the other lessons or the other examples also as you can see we have um, things like uh, a chat gpt for for champs chat gpt for business developers chat gpt for professionals these are ideas these are instances that you can you can pick ideas from to understand basically how this uh, chat gpt works and that you can be able to use it or utilize it 
to also um, uh, impact your own life and your business processes. Basically, on this chart now, I can tell ChatGPT to, okay, based on option 10, give me five um, brands I can choose from. Give me console, we have um, a PS5, we have a Nintendo, we have other things. So, so sure, here are five popular gaming consoles. Now, you see, you see number 10 is gaming console. 10 is gaming console. So, I, I told this, this is an option 10. This is option 10. Give me five brands I can choose from. So, it immediately went to that's number 10, which is, it says, sure, here are five popular gaming console brands to choose from. Sony PlayStation, Microsoft Xbox, Nintendo, Indianware, ASOS, RNG. Do you understand how? ChatGPT works now. Okay, so basically this is what we are going to be dealing with, and then we will now have to find a way in the subsequent lectures. Well, I will now introduce you to how to use this to better or to infuse these ideas or this structure into your personal business or into your personal life or research purposes, and you can get all the appropriate answers you want. I mean, I wrote about two books using this all that forty eight hours, two different books, about about fifteen chapters each. Okay, using this. So, so it's just but based on full questions and then follow up questions and follow up questions and then get it done with. So before I skip this art part, so um I like as if I am done with this part now. I'm done with this particular topic. I'm trying to uh, this question about wife and gift. So in case I just want to start a new chat entirely, I just have to go here, see new charts. Once I click on new chat, it gives me a different entirely. So I cannot refer to whatever it is I already had chats with uh, the bot anymore. This is a fresh start right now. So, but if I want to revert, because it keeps logs of all those charts, I want to revert and continue from where I stopped on the particular chat. This is the get to survive. I can just click on it again. It comes back and I continue. Okay, so it stores all those uh, charts that you have had. Okay, so now if you want to clear conversations, you have it here, you clear all these conversations entirely. Now, ChatGPT has the the upgrade uh, plus uh, uh, package, uh, the paid package of it. Now, most times the bot, the most times their server gets all filled up. There are so many people, so many connections on the server, and the bandwidth and everything. So they get to bounce free users once in a while. We just like if I spend too much time here, I can just tell me server is disconnected or something like that. So I have to refresh this page to come back again. So, um, but if you go on the upgrade to plus, you, you start paying them per month or something, then you wouldn't be facing any of those uh, challenges. And even this on the free version, the limit, all the limitations is this. Um, after about an hour, there's a number of queries, number of questions I can ask per hour. I mean, it's, it's just tell me uh, I have exceeded the number of questions I can ask for one hour. I should uh, wait for another hour to reset my whatever. So basically that's one of the, um, limitations you can have there. So you can log out as well. So basically this is what chat GPT is all about. This is just the introduction. Next next show is going to be how chat GPT works for a particular brand or a particular kind of business. Okay. So how you can use it, turn it around to make something meaningful and then also how possibly you can just hold your head around it and start making some good money with it. So I'll see you again in the next lecture. Do not forget, if you have any questions, always try to reach out. Always try to reach out. I will be very, very much available to treat any questions you have and, send, and then to also answer any questions. We are actually working on um, on a mobile version of this chat GPT that will be deployed on the WebLora uh, platform very soon. You guys will see, get to see that something you can easily download to your phone and use chat GPT on the go. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you in the next class.